Right, so and here we have the battery. In this case, it happens to be an ASG 7.4 volt LiPo, 13 mil 1300 milliamp hours. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you have to be very, very careful when you're uh, soldering connectors on batteries. Doesn't matter what the technology is, whether it's NiCad, nickel metal hydride, LiPo, LifePo, whatever. You just have to be so careful um, that you do not cause a short. And the only way to be sure that you're not going to cause a short is to do one connector at a time. Right, so make sure you don't cut off the two wires together. I'm going to be very careful here and just cut off one wire. In this case, I'm going to cut the positive. Yeah. So now there's no chance they can short. I'll tuck that back down there. Again, similar process. I'm going to take a bit of the insulating cover off that. Come on, tear. No, it didn't quite cut through enough. Right, so there we go. Get a nicely twisted end of the wire. So I'm going to tin that in exactly the same way as I did before. Apply heat, let the wire heat up. Apply solder to the other side of the wire. There we go. Soldering iron had cooled down a bit. So it's just taking a little, little while to get back up to full temperature. Right, so that's nicely tinned. And now I want to do the same on a female uh, Dean's connector. Tin the connectors. Tin the uh, spade ends. Slide on our piece of shrink tube. Secure the connector. I'll help you with that connection. Always the same when the camera's on you.
No, that isn't a good connection, so I'm going to have to redo it. And this is why you need to be taking everything very slowly. Make sure you're happy with the connections you're making. Finally, a decent electrical connection. So, before I do anything else, I am going to move the shrink tube down and protect that connection. Right, now the positive has been done, we can go ahead and clip the negative wire. Same scenario. Gonna tin the wire. Preheat. Apply solder to the other side. And there we go. And slide on the uh, shrink tube sleeve. Complicated now for these things there. Second one for me anyway is always a bit trickier because you don't have much freedom to work with. When you really need three hands, or you need uh, you need a proper soldering station where you have uh, clips and so forth to hold things in place. Some people use blue tack to um, actually hold. Yeah, sure, blue tack would work. A good connection all the way around. So I'll slide the uh, shrink tube down. And there we go.